Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install data packs onto your Minecraft server. So let's get right into it. So first of all, make sure you are running a version which does support data packs. This will be any version above 1.13. So we're on vanilla Minecraft 1.18.2, which is currently the latest version. So next, we need to find a place to actually download our data packs from. If you have already got your data pack downloaded, you can skip to this point. However, if you don't, I'm going to show you where you can download them now. So probably one of the main places you want to look is on Planet Minecraft. You can look through here and there is tons and tons of data packs. And I'm sure you can probably find what you're looking for is as many, many pages. Now the next place we can find them as well is called Vanilla Tweaks. So Vanilla Tweaks is more like a pack of data packs and it comes with tons and tons. So if you're looking to only download a few of them, simply select the ones you want. So I'll click Fast Leaf Decay, Graves, let's also go with Durability Ping and Coordinates HUD. Once you've selected the ones you want, there's also some other menus down here. You can then click download on the right. Once you click download, it will take you to this add focus page. We're at the top right, we need to wait a few seconds. Once the skip button appears, click that. And as you can see, our download has completed. So now we want to go back to Pebblehost. All right, so once we're on our server, we want to go to the left and to the file manager. From here, we then want to go into the world folder and then into the data packs folder. From here, we can click Upload, File, and then of course, find our zip file. However, as Vanilla Tweaks is many different data packs, we actually need to extract it into separate data packs. So we're not going to want to upload this by itself. This shouldn't be a problem for other data packs, as unless it's a package of different data packs, they should already be in the zip file that they need to be in. So we can click Cancel. So we've opened up our downloads here. So for this part, we want to use a zip extractor like WinRAR, or 7-zip. I'll leave links to them in the description. You will then want to right click on the zip file and click extract. And as you can see it's now extracted into four zip files for each different data pack that we clicked on. So now we have these, we want to drag these into the file manager. It will then upload the four files and as you can see it's uploaded them all separately. So our data packs are now uploaded. We can then click back on the left and now we're going to want to join our server. Alright so we are now in our server. And now all we need to do is do slash reload. Once we do that, it will say reloading. You'll get a little lag spike and then it should be all reloaded. So for vanilla tweaks, there's a few things I can do to show that it actually does work. First of all, I can show you that the commands are actually in the game. So we can do slash trigger, ch toggle. And as you can see at the bottom, we now have our coordinates HUD. So even without a server reboot, we can get all our data packs in the game. So we did also have our fast leaf decay, so if we break this tree, and I've broken the whole thing, as you see the leaves decay super super quick. So this data pack is fully working. Anyway, hopefully I did help you set up your data pack on your Minecraft server. If I did, definitely leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you next time.